Not sure how well it shows up on screen, but a little wobble in the blade. I noticed though, as I was cutting it, it seemed to drift. Yeah, that's definitely the bearing. It looks like it should be replaceable. Calling the rigid service line. Your call may be monitored or recorded. Uh, yeah, I've got a rigid tile saw, uh, and the it seems like uh, the bearing is going out. It's the blade's got a uh, got a warble to it. Okay, you have to take your product into one of our service centers to undergo the warranty review. Okay. Uh, can you just send you me, Can you just send me the bearing? I don't I don't have that much time. We're not able to send out the bearing. What I'm saying is if you have a defective part, as far as a bearing, you have to take it into a service center. It's not something that we can send out that's, under warranty. That's not going to happen. All right, well, there you have it. I just can't go however many weeks they... Uh, I can't go that long without a tile saw. I, I haven't been terribly happy with the saw anyway. There's always been a water flow issues. It almost seemed like a spray, and it really should be a flood. Uh, other tile saws we've used, it just it floods the floods the blade and he said the first time we used it like the first I don't know if it was the first day or the first job but I remember there was a flood of water it, it just poured out and uh, and it was all crisp clean cuts and I've, I don't know how many blades we've we've replaced the blade four or five times uh, just from use and just trial and error different things I've replaced the hose I've replaced these little I've replaced these little tips because I I mean, I cleaned them. Uh, I've tried. I've taken all this apart. This, this little piece, um, like from here to the pump, is all one hose, and I've replaced that, and it's made no difference. This is the third pump. They uh, Rigid sent me a pump, and by the way, Rigid's pumps are like teeny tiny. I mean, this is a $300 saw. It's not a, terribly expensive, but it was a itty bitty pump, and they sent me a, sent us a new pump um, when we first got it. That's why. I've, I assume they were just sending us a bearing because they did send us the pump, um, and uh, that new new pump, whatever, didn't make any difference. And I broke down and I bought a bigger pump, um, different brand, whatever whatever brand that is. Um, doesn't make a difference. It's just never really been enough water flow, and we we've tested that out like just um, like literally sprayed water on as we're cutting and it definitely cuts a lot better when there's more water so it definitely makes a big difference there's just not enough water flow on it and I, I'm not sure what it is um, I mean the pumps could be even this pump might, might not be that big um, like I said I've, it's just the performance just isn't really that great I'm just noticing the bearing wobbling out maybe maybe the bearing's been going out for a while and, and that's why it's been drifting it's not a big deal on small tiles but on big tiles, it's a big deal. Uh, and I swapped, I switched the blade back and forth and it does the same thing, same direction. Um, so that's when I, when I realized the, the bearing was going bad. Um, I don't understand. I mean, it sure can't be a 5 or $10 part. I don't know why they can't just send it to us. I assume they try to sell it to contractors who are using it, relying on it. Uh, I mean, even if you're a, a homeowner, if you're in the middle of a job, what are you going to do? You got to send your tile saw off or four to six weeks uh, or longer for them to, to look at it and uh, and replace it. That just doesn't make sense. And I remember with the pump, we got to a point where we were in between jobs and I knew I wasn't going to need it for a while. And I tried to send it back. And this is when we were living in Savannah. And I went to Depot where we bought it. And um, they wouldn't take it. They're the only, the closest service center was like Atlanta or something, uh, something nowhere near. So what are we going to do? We're going to drive to Atlanta or, or ship it ourselves on our own dollar. Um, you know, that just doesn't make, just doesn't make any sense. You know, they're, they're trying to sell a lifetime warranty and obviously that's not the case. Um, they're not top of the line products anyway. They're, they're good and they're, they're a good price, but, um, you know, the warranty kind of pushed it over the edge for me because it was like, well, you know, tools of tools just got to work. That's, you know why you buy bigger for the most reasons why you buy better tools so they last it's not worth it if they're not going to support it 
Um, so I'm kind of done buying rigid power tools at this point. I don't know. That's pretty disappointing. Uh, if you got any experience, uh, just curious what it is below, let us know in the comments. Um, if you've got any experience with them uh, or, uh, or other tile saws or other stuff like that, uh, other brands that actually stand behind it. I mean, it's not an unreasonable thing to, for them to just send apart. Any rate, I'm rambling. I got to get back to work. All right. Hey, everyone. The other little tidbit for this is that the pump that they replaced it with was a Ryobi pump. Um, and if you want to buy Ryobi products, by all means, you buy them and you get those savings, but they're not the best of tools. Now, um, if you want to buy something a little bit, not that I'm saying rigid is the high end or anything, but if you want to buy something more like rigid or Porter Cable or, or whatever, yeah, it's a, it's a, it should be a better quality product because it's at a higher price point and those tools generally um, generally are better built. So it's a little bit, puts a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth because you're like, I didn't pay the Ryobi price and yet you're replacing this pump with a Ryobi pump. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, really? Take it for what it's worth. You had a good experience with uh, warranty, with products and things. We'd love to hear it. So far, we have been big fans of, I think the the one that's our tried and true is Milwaukee. Um, we've had some some okay luck with Porter Cable, depending on where you buy it from. The more we discover about tools, the more it's like if you buy it from, you know, like the residential line versus the commercial line versus whatever, you obviously are are jumping up in price, but they are able to build things. They build things for the price, you know? So while Porter Cable can, can build, like we've had some issues with some Porter Cables in the past, and while they can build um, a great tool for, the, for enough money, um, sometimes what the constrictions that like Lowe's and Depot puts on them to keep them at a certain price point, it's not that great. So... I don't know. As we become like more into this with uh, our uh, it being a, a main source of, of income for us, we're we're just. Does that make sense? I kind of rambled on now. Um, I don't want to make it into a big thing. It's just a friendly FYI that we have learned, passing on the knowledge. Take it for what it's worth. Hope it was helpful. If y'all have anything to add to it, by all means, go down in those comments and uh, let us know your experiences with tools and warranties and all of that goodness. I uh, hope all is well with everybody. Thanks for watching, and we will catch y'all in the next one.